So now I'm going to show you all the great things that are in your account when you are in ActiveNet. Under Payment and Order Management, this is where you can see your charge auto payments. This is for things like summer camp that are automatically charged on a certain day. You can see all the saved credit cards you have in there, any transaction and payment history, and account payment details. So if you reserved a site and you forgot to download the facility agreement, as well as the camp, the camp confirmation, you can go into ActiveNet under your transactions and payment history, and you can see all of the reservations that um, we have created that I have created for council events in here. So I can show you where to find the facility agreement on a reservation. So you'll see that there's reservations and there's permits. So it does do reservations and it'll probably show you a dollar amount and it also does permit for the same transaction. What you'll want to do is click on the permit number. So this is my permit. And this is usually emailed to you after you um, make a reservation. So here is my permit. I see that I have reserved the entire camp for September 27th to the 30th for uh, next year's stew, or 2024 stew, sorry. And you'll see my schedules here. And usually under schedules, it'll show you like waivers and information. That's where you can also see um, where you can find the facility agreement and the camp confirmation. I will show you an example in the next slide. Here you will see a permit for somebody who has made the booking for a Marion Baby Center in May of next year. And the waivers and information box is here. You're going to click on that. And this is where you can find the facility agreement to download as well under clicking under the attachment. And the Mary and BB Center confirmation for this reservation would also be under this attachment here. Again, you'll want to um, look under the transactions and payment history to see your facilitated activity reservations. So again, Looking at the permit number, again, you have to hit the permit number to see this screen. If you click on just the reservation as listed, it will not bring this up. It'll just bring up your receipt. So here, this person selected that they wanted to hire a facilitated activity because this requires a facilitator. The default answer is always going to be yes. There's no option to select no. And waivers for activities that are facilitated by a facilitator are done in Smart Waiver, and that information is usually sent a week to two weeks prior, depending on um, if facilitators had signed up to facilitate your activity in a timely manner. Another way to get to ActiveNet would be to go to our camp tab. Our camp tab is uh, information on summer camp and year round adventures, as well as visit our camp properties. If you click on visit our camp properties, you can go to any camp that you want to go to. So say we wanna to go to Camp McCormick and we want to go ahead and make a reservation. So we're gonna click on this reserve today and it brings you to ActiveNet. Again, then you would go to reservations and start the reservation process as discussed before.